People sometimes ask me what the most intimidating or worst gig, because it's the most common question for any comedian to get asked, yeah. what's the worst gig you've ever had? And again, going back to, before I did normal stand-up and I just used to do a juggling act, and there's a guy called Clive Webb, and Clive Webb became famous with Tiz Was back in the day, because he was, the, he was uh, a magician on there alongside the Phantom Flamflinger and all these, with, with Chris Tarrant and all them. Uh, Do you remember? Yeah. Probably seen I can remember Chris Tiz Tarrant, Tiz Tarrant yeah, yeah. But anyway, he, he was on it, and Clive Webb then went into doing magic, and he started to specialise, again in that brief period where this thing was kind of acceptable, a, a blue magic show he called it. But basically it was like normal magic, but every time a woman appeared out of a box or something, she'd be topless, right? Yeah. And he phoned me up one night, because I'd, I'd done all the gigs for him and stuff, and he went, hey Steve, are you free tonight? So a, a gig, gig in, uh, in the, what's it, got near, um, I'm forgetting the name of the place now, sort of, oh, oh, oh not Cleethorpes, down here, uh, oh, it's Crooked Spile, it's got a Crooked Spire, it's on, d d near Sheffield, that's Chesterfield. Sh Chesterfield, 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 no, Chesterfield yeah. well done, <laughs> it was, he says, got this club in Chesterfield, the Aquarius Club it was called, he said, he says, I'm doing the Blue Magic show, one of my strippers has, uh, has pulled out, could you fill it? I went, for a stripper? I said, what do you mean stripping? He went, no, no, we just need, I just need a 15 minute gap to fill some entertainment. I said, what's it for? It's 500 blocks. And me, in my naivety, went, oh, yeah. I'll do that. So I went along, and I remember there was something like the UK Centrefolds or something they were called, and they all did their cl quite a classy stripping act, and then they had another stripper on, who, and he said, right, Tina's finished now, you, you go and bring her off. I went, what? He went, no, no, bring her off stage. All right, okay, bring her off stage, right. <laughs> he said, and then just do 15 minutes, and then introduce me at the end. So I went on, and this poor girl there, bless her, she stood all the strip, can hear all the crowd, Honestly, 500 blocks full. It was full, this place. And they're all, hey, walk me. She gets she, and, uh, and then she's got a, does a bow or whatever they do, right? She's there uh, picking up her clothes, literally picking ah, yeah, up her, yeah. all the bits she'd scattered. And then I had to walk on. Where did you? Look, I didn't say later. I said, just gentlemen, wasn't it? Gentlemen, lovely Tina. Lovely Tina. Everyone applauded like that. And then I just went, right, who wants to see some juggling? <laughs> and just 500 blocks just went, Not worse, is it? And I just stood there going, oh God, I've got 15 minutes now of trying to fill in. And uh, I used to do a thing where I used to do, I still do it occasionally, in pantomime, I would get the audience split up to him, moo, bar and quack, and then conduct them all in an animal chorus. And I just had them doing swear words instead. So it's four, uh, four bass, track, and then and I'd and I just, I just sang Christmas carols with words like that. So you go, Fork, 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 twat, twat, piss, twat, twat, piss, piss, oh, God. and all they loved it. <laughs>